occasionally people ask us where our office is and uh, what we're up to when we're here. So we thought since we have some gorgeous weather this morning, we'd show you around, give you a little bit of a tour. So first off, this is our grand entryway to uh, Wazell HQ. As you can see, it's um, quite the styling area. We have our address prominently displayed. I can't see it, it's too sunny. <laughs> and uh, our next door neighbor is here, uh, the little red hen. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and, uh, you know, we like to uh, drop in on occasion and uh, say hi to our friends we have. Here's one of our friends now. Here's one of our friends now. <laughs> Real handsome. Okay, so now that we've covered the front door, let's take you around to some of our other favorite hot spots here. another uh, Green Lake landmark, Greg's Green Lake Cycle, if you choose to cycle, which you shouldn't. You should be running. There's a runner now. <laughs> so here's our neighborhood Starbucks. Let's see if we can beat the strollers to the front door. <laughs> we are inside the Green Lake Starbucks. Really all of these people are just between us and our caffeine, but we're willing to wait. Speaking of, we've caffeinated and now we're headed to the WADA. One of the perks of working at Wazell, I can tell you, is the lake. We've picked a prime spot. Just Green Lake, it's probably one of the most used parks in the city, isn't it? That's a fun fact. It is a fun fact. <laughs> we're just full of fun facts, aren't we? Really full of them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't run away. No, I can't. tour of the uh, park, we thought we'd take you over here to one of the probably most well-known running stores in the country, Super Jock and Jill. Uh, there they are, uh, nicely situated here by the lake. Uh, Super Jock and Jill um, was founded probably about 30 years ago. I'm going to take a wild guess there. And uh, has really been outfitting runners with running shoes and great apparel forever. So. Um, we just love these guys because they do a great job of outfitting people in the right shoes yeah. and getting runners what they need so they don't get injured and so that they can enjoy their sport. Watch it go so, one of the cool things about Jack and Jill, like many running stores, is that when you come in, they really fit you with the right shoes. So a lot of times that means taking the time to try on all the different styles and brands and really the only way to see if a running shoe is going to fit you really well is if you can take a little run in it. So what people do is they put them in the shoes, they come out the door and they run up this hill and then they run down this hill and then they do that maybe several times until they found the right shoe. Now, as running lore at Jock and Jill went, I believe that there has been at least one customer who has continued to run up the hill and never returned. I know at least one. But I would say by and large, from the thousands of people that have probably run up this hill and down and tried shoes on that they've really only lost that one pair. So that's a pretty good success rate, I think. <laughs> There's nobody out here right now. Clearly, Seattle is slacking at the moment. I don't know what they're doing, working. But anyway, maybe this gentleman will be running up the hill in a moment. Who knows? No, he's going to Starbucks. <laughs> okay, well, that's it from Jack and Jill, and we'll talk to you later. Beep. So one of the best things about Seattle is there's so many fun runs. And one of the most exciting new fun runs is sponsored by a local donatisserie, if that's a word, by the name of Top Pot. Top Pot has the most amazing donuts. If you come to Seattle, you must have a Top Pot donut. 
they are sponsoring a 5K, which is going to run around Green Lake. And uh, my guess is that there's going to be donuts involved mm. after the race. Mm. So, uh, so Sarah and I, of course, are in for sure, and possibly the boss too. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out, that the large donut display. Uh, it's coming up on May 1st. One of our neighborhood landmarks is our lovely hole in the ground. And uh, the hole in the ground is an entire city block. And uh, they dug this hole in the ground about four years ago, getting ready to build condos, surprise, surprise. And then the economy tanked. And so now it's just been a lovely chain link surrounded hole in the ground. Um, now we like to think that possibly this will be the once in future headquarters of Wazelle because you know, you never know. But uh, for now it's, uh, it's uh, just familiarly known as the hole. In the ground. In the ground. Ta-da!